My name is Cassie Nesper, curator of the Rose Melnick Medical Museum at Youngstown State University. I'm always trying to incorporate more information about local history into the exhibits here. Today I wanted to tell you a little bit about our most recent edition, Oral Histories from Youngstown Area Doctors and Nurses. The oral history clips are integrated into the museum exhibits through QR codes. These codes can be scanned by any smartphone. For those without smartphones, a transcription of the oral history is provided. For example, this oral history is from Dr. Frank Kravick, a pulmonary specialist who began working in the Mahoning County Tuberculosis Sanitarium in 1946. When he arrived, the sanitarium was full and had a waiting list. Well, when I first started there, we had 170 patients. At the same time, we had about 50 patients on the waiting list. Every bed uh, and every nook and cranny that was available at the sanatorium was used for a bed. So that in another oral history, Ruth Barnes talks about her decision to become a nurse in the early 1940s. She attended the Youngstown Hospital Association School of Nursing. In those days, nursing schools were run by hospitals, and the students lived in dormitories. Choice in those days was either teaching or nursing, or a good job. So we chose nursing. I thought I would like it and uh, it was more affordable. I hope you've enjoyed hearing about medical history from those who lived it. If you can't make it to the museum, you can hear all these voices and more on our blog.